So I'm chatting here with Pastor Dudley Rutherford from Shepherd Church in the USA. Uh, he's just preached an amazing message here uh, with a whole bunch of people from all over Brisbane and the Philippines and Manny Pacquiao and his team. Uh, mate, tell us how you first got involved in this kind of ministry. Well, Manny uh, normally trains, he trains in the United States of America. His trainer is Freddie Roach, a famous trainer in boxing. So when he comes from the Philippines to train in Los Angeles, he's got to find a church. And Manny's mother, she's always on television on all these fights, her sister goes to my church. So uh, his aunt literally brought him to our church, and he just fell in love with it, and he goes to church every week. And so now wherever he fights, he brings me in uh, to preach these chapels every night the week before he fights. Well, I... I had my eyes open at the end, and there was about 30 people that gave their hearts to Christ tonight. It's the most important thing in the world to see people come to know Christ, and I know the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Uh, Tell us a bit about the life of Manny, because did you know him before he came to Christ? Uh, I just knew of him, uh, but once he started coming to church and I would go over to his house, uh, but uh, he's a very, very... uh, in love he's in love with god and he's in love with the word he's not always been a christian his life was in shambles but he found christ god put his marriage back together gave him a purpose he sold he had nightclubs and casinos he sold all that he won't put a advertisement on his shorts he's been offered millions of dollars to put like a beer uh advertisement on his boxing shorts he won't do it uh, because he, he, he just loves the Lord and he reads his Bible every single day. And as you saw tonight, he just has this humble, sweet spirit that, that only comes from the Holy Spirit. He's this fighter in the ring, but outside the ring, he is a man of God. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, we were just chatting before the service tonight and we have a mutual friend in Jeff Vines. He was just over uh, preaching in Australia recently. His church is kind of in the same vicinity as yours. Uh, tell us about uh, Jeff's ministry and, uh, and your connections to him. Well, Jeff, you know, used to be a missionary in like New Zealand, and so he's all, been all over this area, and I think he's on radio at 2 o'clock every day. And uh, a dynamic preacher, he loves, he's like into apologetics, and when he preaches, you can really hear him giving proof that the scriptures are real and that Jesus is the Christ, the Son, living God. Uh, I love Jeff. He's, he's a dynamic speaker, great church builder. I like him too. He likes to golf. But uh, if you've never had a chance to listen to Jeff, I would encourage people to listen to his show at 2 o'clock. Mm, that's wonderful. And tell us about your church. If people ever want to go and visit, tell us all about it. Uh, we uh, website is shepherdchurch.com. Uh, We're in Los Angeles. We have four campuses. Uh, we are one of the largest churches in California and in the United States, and we're also the most racially diverse churches in America. Uh, it, on every row, not some rows, but every row, there's an African American, there's an Asian, there's a Filipino, there's someone from the Middle East, a Latino, someone from Asia, on every single row in our church. And we really are a picture of what heaven is going to be like. Absolutely. So how many turn up, you know, across your campuses? Uh, A couple weeks ago, we had 12,000 in church. Uh, And on Easter, we run about 20,000. It's it's just, and the Spirit of God just flows through that church with the worship and and the Word being preached. And it's in Los Angeles, which is a very worldly place, but God is building great churches like ours all over the United States. We're hearing lots of stories about so many people in Hollywood coming to Christ and you know all these faith-based films are coming out now. Have you got, uh, are you seen much evidence of that where you're based? Oh yeah, uh, that's a big thing is the films are, uh, coming out from Hollywood because they finally recognize there are Christians that are tired of all the bad stuff that they've been putting out and so we encourage Christians to go see whenever those faith-based movies come out but we pray for Hollywood Uh, our church uh, we take one Sunday a year we have anyone who works in Hollywood to stand and we kind of lay hands and pray on them and send them as missionaries back into Hollywood because when Jesus said go into all the world he meant to go into all the world he didn't not all the world except Hollywood all the world except politics all the world except 
sports and entertainment. No, when he said going to all the world, he meant to go to all the world, and that includes Hollywood. So our, I hope that we begin to see a difference in Hollywood. Amen. And there's a lot of homelessness issues uh, in your part of the states as well. What does your church do to reach out to the poor and the homeless? You know, uh, we just have ministries. Uh, we kind of live out in a suburb, and uh, it's a valley that has uh, the, the valley in which I live has two million people in it. And uh, if it was a city, it'd be the fifth largest city in the world. Uh, in, in, in America, I should say. But uh, So we have all kinds of ministries where we go down on the streets of Hollywood and downtown L.A. and uh, minister to the people that are really, really hurting. Mm, that's wonderful. Well, it's been a blessing to be able to connect with you here. Let's pray for a great harvest of souls uh, for the rest of the week. Hey, God bless. Amen. We're here to just study the Word. Anybody can come. Um, and Manny, Manny just wants the Lord to be preached and yeah. the Bible to be preached. So everybody's welcome. Come on. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you for, uh, for the interview. It was great. It was fun. <laughs>